okay? A horse that's doing this, that's, that's doing that stuff, that climbing out of the bridle, that's that battle of wills. Do you think he's capable of being around? Of course he is. He did it perfectly fine until for four steps he decided he didn't want to do it anymore, right? Well, if at that moment you throw the rain away at him and go, oh, geez, I had too much content, baloney. Anybody watch the, the Olympic Games? Anybody watch Charlotte Dujardin try that for Oh, yeah. She has plenty of rain contact. And parts of all, the girl's like this. Yes. <laughs> you know? But these horses have no fear of the connection, and they have no, there is no possibility they're going to come off of it. Those horses are driving, Damon Hill, driving their hind legs to the drive. You know, do we want, at the end of the day, do any of us that ride at that level one horse be 70 pounds in our hands? Of course not, right? I don't want that. But I want a good, solid feeling. I want to know, do you, don't you think that anybody in the top 20 at the Olympics is even questioning that when they hit that diagonal and drive and extend the trot, that this horse is going to stay on the bit? It's guaranteed it's going to stay on the bit. He might break the camera and run off or whatever, but he'll do it on the bit. Nobody's perfect. But this thing about, like, sit down, camera, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, through it. Keep your outside brain. Sit down, take all of them, 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 take all of them. You're not asking for an unreasonable request here. You're not asking for an unreasonable. That whole thing with, I'm going to, okay, what he's doing right there, that's the old book on horse training one-on-one. -on -one. He is trying to use his strength against you, not for you, right? He's pushing that under neck up against the reins, and he's trying to invert his neck and say, wait a minute, I'm not going to give in. I, I forget, I call the shots on this, right? I hate the word on the dressage test, submission. I hate the word, just because somehow the word to me seems, oh, it's a little, it's, it's a little weird, you know? It's, it's not, I don't like a word that much, submission. It's like, you know, a prisoner shall submit. It's permission. But how about, you know, <laughs> Permission. Re release, you know? What, we, what <laughs> submission pretty much means is you taught the horse that when you touch the ring, he yields to you. Yeah. Somebody's going to be the one who, who, who directs, and somebody's going to be the one who yields. And you know what our job is? <laughs> Teaching them that they're the one that yield. The second they yield, you come back down. Good, make it a little rounder. Generally, when, the horse, when a horse is doing this and it's climbing up on the reins and it's picking its neck up there like that, generally the person that's telling you to give the reins and be soft with him is the one who's afraid you can't get that job done themselves. Generally. People tell me, like, you know, like, give to him, like, no, you're too hard on him. Baloney. You're being too hard on him. Baloney. I'm like, but if he doesn't... Well, you're not allowed to, you know, it's, it's a hard catch 22. See, that's what I said to you. You're an intellectual person, and you're trying to think your way through this and go, wait a minute. If, if this is happening, you know, what do intellectual and scientific people do? They do all the if then right? <laughs> you know, if then Because that's, that's science, that's math, that's, you know, it's all that stuff. Wait a minute. If this is happening, then why would I do that? Well... Generally, you know, being a good student, you know, back talk your instructor, you know, that's one of the things of being a good student. But one of the problems of being an intellectual person is sometimes you start to realize that, like everything, there's different levels of everything. And you know what I mean? And sometimes if you're, you're you know, you, you can take a lesson from somebody that that may be the only place they ever got to, so that's their threshold of their knowledge level. I mean, I'm not being shitty, it's just true. You know, and, and you'll, you'll, I'm telling you, if he stuck his head in the air like that, and Lars Peterson was standing here, Lars would say, take all of him and sit into it. Don't you let him think he can do that, I can hear it. <laughs> you know, there's a guy who made a lot of grand horses. That, that whole act right there was just, I'm going to push you away. I'm going to push you away. Oh, no, he's trying to push, pull me right out of the saddle. He's trying to use that big, strong neck of his to pull you out of the saddle rather than to yield and be round and hit. If he, okay, if he rounds his neck and gives his pull, 
and softens his, his mouth and his jowl and releases to the bit, then you will let go. Is that correct? There you go. There's horse training in a nutshell. Here's what happens sometimes. Sometimes people say, oh, you have too much rain content. You know, so what happens then is if I stick my head up, resist the bridle, pull against me, stiffen my lower jaw, have a crap bit, then she's going to throw the reins away. <laughs> He's just trained you how to not touch his mouth. Watch any of anybody in the top 30 at the Olympics. Nobody's afraid to touch the horse's mouth. Nobody's afraid to put their leg on. That, it's one of those things about like why it's so important. Why you know we have to we take you know we got to take the horses that come to us and ride and make them better horses. But at the end of the day, that's why we start with three year olds. Because by the time they're five, they don't even think twice about it. You pick up the reins, boom, they're out. They're imprinted. It's why learning all of you Dutch guy people learned English in school as kids. Young kids, can you speak to you and believe it? You know, Vera can be sitting, I can be sitting in Holland. You know, she, you know, she did. She's there, I'm here, her mother's there. She's carrying out a conversation in Dutch with her mother, in English with me, and you do the same. And you switch, because you switch from thinking in English to thinking in Dutch, right? So you think in English. <laughs> so you. Because, because you think in Dutch, you think in English, right? So it's you, when you're in English, you're just thinking in English. So it's it's easy for you to speak English beautifully for all of you Dutch people because you think in English. But man, oh man, it's like a horse that's learned to think in resistant rather than learn to think in round and supple and all that. You know, so like my German is not so bad. But I have to think in English, change the vocabulary, change the grammar, change the structure, spin it. So I'm slow. I'll never be a grand free German. You know? I'll, I'll, I'll be maybe a St. George German speaker. But because I don't, because I don't get the, you know, it, it, it was too late. You know? Once the imprint's gone, you know, you screw. Good. Take a little round. Use your wrist. Use your wrist. Well, you know what? He is such a stupid man. Doesn't it? I don't care about that. Bring it back. Now bring it back. Fine. Make it round. Make it round. Make it round. Make it round. Haley, I'm, I would never sit here and tell anybody, let's go out and have a fight with the horse. I would never tell anybody that. But you know what? In I'm the not part, fighting them. No, you're not. Fighting. No, you're not. You're sticking to your guns about what it is you want, and he's having a conniption fit. <laughs> I think you're sitting. I think you're sitting there, <laughs> continuing to ask for what you know is right. It's supposed to do with men, right? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have more fun with that than you would with fighting. <laughs> Never ever relinquish the idea, never relinquish the idea of I know what I want and I'm not backing down until I get it. So long as it's reasonable and fair. You follow me? So long as it's reasonable and fair. I'm not backing down about what I want, so what I'm looking for, so long as it's reasonable and fair. I don't see why because they don't know any better. Because they don't know any better. I'm like, do you see all of the problems? Yeah, because they don't know any better. And I guarantee you, if Ashley Holzer comes and teaches you a clinic, I guarantee you, girl, she will be doing exactly. She may do a little different exercise, a little different words, a little different way, but this is what you'll be working on. And I guarantee you, if Lars Peterson comes, it'll be exactly the same thing. And I guarantee you, if. Shelly Francis comes, it'll be the same thing. They'll look and they'll go, wait a minute, you teach that thing to be rounded on your eight knots. Once we're there, we'll take the next step. Because you know what's funny? The, once they're really, really responsive and on your eight and nice to ride, they learn movements quicker. This is the time they're assuming the problem. Good. So how about you change rain some place? 
Let him drop. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Put him back round. And one more circle to the left. Here. Basically, pretty much what that is at the end of the day is that's I'm 17 2 and I'm really big and strong, and I'm still going back to what's always worked for me. It happens a lot less now than it ever did, right? But he's still going to continue to, re to, to, to revert just a little bit back to that behavior once in a while when, you know, it always worked for me for the past how many years, so, you know, for five years that worked. You've taken out 90% of it, the last 10 will come. That looks great. Now, keep your hand there and push your trot on a little bit. Is that solid? <laughs> yeah. Does, I mean, does he feel like he's going to stay around most of the time? Most of the time. Yeah. <coughs> Close your leg a little bit. See, he, he went right into your hand and pushed into your hand, didn't he? Now his hind legs are driving to your hand and he's making himself round. Are you all, like, you know, namby-pamby, hardly got any rain contact? No, you got real rain contact, don't you? I don't know at the end of the day that I want you to have, you know, 40 pounds of contact in your hand. But we'll assess that after we know we can ride it absolutely round all the time. I feel like I can get there, but this has to happen first. Absolutely. They have to be round and they have to Never make a youngster too light and fluffy in the contest. This horse I look at, whatever age he is, he's a four and a half, five year old horse in his training. That's what he is, right? They have got to meet the contact and push forward and take your hand. And accept your seat and your leg in your hand. Walk. Walk. Exactly right. Perfect. Enough. 